Hi, welcome to the Life's Up Kitchen. My name is Sina and I'm the head nutritionist here at Life's Up. And with me, I have my favorite person, Julia, and I'm the head chef here at Life's Up. And today we're going to talk about plant-based eating, about different tips and tricks on how to prepare it, different things to have in mind when eating plant-based, and yeah, other fun facts about plant-based diets. Like tofu, what is it? And why are there so many different kinds? And how should you prepare it? I mean, we will go through everything that we think is important to know. So let's get started. So let's start with tofu. I mean, you know, there's so many different kinds of tofu. Like, what should you do with them? You have the firm tofu, the extra firm, silken tofu, smoked tofu, and even flavored tofu. Most of you have tried silken tofu if you have, for example, sushi, you know, that famous miso soup? That's where you add the silken tofu. But if you didn't know this, it's amazing to have in smoothies and even desserts. Yes, I mean, you guys are doing the most amazing chocolate pie with silk and tofu. And also like a mango smoothie. It's so smooth and also filled with protein, which is great. The firm tofu is perfect to cook in a frying pan or grill or if you want to add it to a salad. It's also nice to do some classic uh, Korean dishes where you boil the tofu and then you have it with a lot of kimchi to get that flavor. That's excellent. And it's also really nice to just crumble it and kind of eat like a scrambled tofu, but yeah, instead yeah, of that's, scrambled eggs, that's great. That's also really good. And if you want that extra flavor, some uh, supermarkets have the smoked tofu, which is really nice, especially during the summer if you want to have that like grill feeling going on. Yeah, that's one of my absolute favorite. I yeah, get you're a big fan. It. Yeah. It's so. nice. And I mean, tofu is a perfect option to include in a plant-based diet. It's actually one of the few plant-based protein sources that is considered a full protein, which means it gets all the nine essential amino acids, which is what protein is built of. So it's great to include if you are on a plant-based diet. But I mean, many people are a bit unsure on how to prepare the tofu. Like what spices should you add? How should you do it? So Julia, do you have any good tips there? I have a lot of tips <laughs> and that's flavor it however you like it. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you four different ways of spicing it up. Uh, I'm going to start with one curry powder, garlic, cinnamon. Super nice to add and have it marinate overnight. And if you want to go like a little fresher, you can do one with herb, lemon zest, lemon juice, garlic, you know, to get that fresh flavor. And we also did a barbecue kind, which I think is super nice. Example, if you're doing like a burrito or fajita or something to get that like deeper flavor in. And also the ginger, garlic, lime one. I mean, that's just a must. And then I added some soy sauce for the salt. So you can just marinate the tofu, have it in the fridge. And when you feel like, oh, I want to eat that today, just pick your favorite. And there are so many options nowadays if you are a vegan or a vegetarian with these like meatless products that kind of seem like meat, but they're not, right? Yeah, so many of them. And saying that you picked some of them out today. Can you please tell me about them? Yeah, I mean, they look, might look exactly the same. I mean, you had to pretty difficult to tell the difference, right? Yes. But we have different options here. So first off, we have like a soy mince here, which is perfect if you're doing like a bolognese or like just a stew. Uh, it's really good. Or like if you do like a Swedish taco style, Mexican, not really Mexican, but it's more Swedish. Uh, so that's perfect. You can flavor it up, whatever you like. And then we have a uh, corn mince here, uh, which is of a mushroom actually. So it's filled with protein, but this is not vegan. So it sometimes has a bit of egg white in as well. So this one made of soy is completely vegan, but this one is just vegetarian. Mm. And then we have this one, and this is actually a really good one. So this one you can like shape it different, like you can use it to make meatballs or like to make hamburger. Uh, and that's actually really, really convenient. So I'm actually like fooling my nieces and nephews and like, I'm making meatballs here. Oh, wow, it's that big. So I mean, look at this. So this is also made of soy protein. So this is really great as well. You can do different shapes. You can do hamburger, you can do like meatballs. And I mean, the flavor is really nice. So you can like add some feta cheese and thyme to make it like a little green patty, a uh, Greek patty. But uh, yeah, so whatever your flavors you prefer. So there are many options out there and like pick and mix and find your favorite. And it's also a good thing, right, to eat beans. Of course, I can never stress that enough. Like eating legumes, which is beans and lentils, 
And you, they should always be part of a plant-based diet or like any diet really because it's great options. Like first off, they are so cheap. Like everyone now knows that like food prices have increased a lot and like including a bit of beans and lettuce in your diet will really help you to get like more fiber, you get more minerals, vitamins and they are actually really delicious too. And if you're not ready to go full vegan or vegetarian but you still want to eat less meat, a trick is to do half and half. So use the meat that you like mm -hmm. here. For example, here we have just minced beef. Mm -hmm. And then you do half of whatever bean that you have at home or lentils. Today mm -hmm. I have prepared these and I made these with half meat and half beans and just flavor them as I would if I just had been using meat. So if you want to try to eat a plant-based diet but you don't know where to begin, go to the Lifesome app and follow the vegan for a week meal plan. It's perfect like a start to do a one week of fully plant-based diet and you get like the shopping list and get all the recipes set for you. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we taught you some tips and tricks on how to cook your tofu.